dear students uh, welcome to the session uh, in the earlier class we looked into the characteristics of a uh, entrepreneur uh, then uh, we looked into we made a comparison of a, a manager profile and the, and the entrepreneur and uh, then we looked who is a technical entrepreneur and as i told you all of you fall into that category where you have a, a formal education in um, uh, engineering uh, that is computer science and engineering so you uh, uh, fall into that uh, category if you uh, willing to be become an entrepreneur and then we saw who is technical entrepreneur and how he has a advantage of uh, uh, having a technical knowledge and uh, that will help in uh, his uh, <clears throat> organization or his startup then uh, we looked into uh, the uh, different kinds of benefits that uh, we get um, uh, by becoming an entrepreneur and also we looked into the what are the different challenges a uh, entrepreneur uh, faces today uh, we will uh, look into functions of an entrepreneur Uh, what are the different functions uh, he carries out, uh, and what are the um, uh, important functions uh, he will perform in order to make his uh, enterprise uh, successful, or his enterprise uh, uh, being operational. An entrepreneur has to perform a number of functions, uh, right from the generation of idea up to the establishment of an uh, enterprise. So uh, first, he has to work on uh, the uh, like uh, uh, the minute he gets a new idea, uh, the minute he generated that idea. From that point to until the uh, enterprise is uh, established, so he has to continuously uh, 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 carry out all the various activities towards that that direction. He also has to perform functions for successful running of the enterprise. So. one is a setting up of the enterprise and the next one is making sure that it is running successfully entrepreneur has to pursue business opportunities and mobilize resources like man money machines materials and methods so uh, uh, once he pursues any business uh, opportunity once he sees that opportunity then what he will do to uh, implement that opportunity or con to convert that opportunity into an uh, a product or a, a service what he has to do is he has to mobilize the all the resources so whatever the uh, human resources required the capital requirement the machinery requirement and the whatever the raw materials uh, uh, required all those things should be mobilized by the entrepreneur <clears throat> uh here are the some important uh, functions that uh, entrepreneur carry out first one is the idea generation this is the most uh, important uh, function of an uh, entrepreneur uh, uh, constantly he will be uh, um, uh, trying to get new ideas uh, it could be in the uh, any phase of the his uh, enterprise uh, starting with the uh, one uh, business opportunity uh, bringing uh, new ideas in the um, uh, uh, production Uh, bringing in the automation so with the new ideas he will try to uh, make sure that uh, the resources are used uh, optimally the first and uh, foremost important function of an entrepreneur is idea generation and idea generation what it implies is product selection and project identification so idea generation is like uh, uh, what kind of a uh, product uh, he want to do and uh, identifying the um, the project in order to execute the, uh, in order to create that particular product idea generation is possible through uh, how idea generation uh, happens it is through the the vision of a entrepreneur the insight he has uh, his observation keen observation of the environment and the uh, situation uh, educational background experience and exposure to different things these are the uh, different uh, Uh, ways people will get the the ideas. This needs a scanning of the business environment and market survey. So most important thing for any entrepreneur is constantly looking out for the the uh, the changes in the business environment, uh, any um, uh, opportunities or threats that are uh, getting uh, generated in the environment. Uh, making surveys, uh, making sure that uh, what he perceives is still valid or not. So it it. like if a person thinks this particular product would be uh, will be required by many people and he thinks there would there is going to be lot of demand 
he has to carry out the certain amount of a market research or the market survey where he will get a kind of an idea whether there is a, a need for such a, a product or not so that is very important so he should be doing uh, doing all this market survey and the um, uh, scanning the business environment constantly uh, throughout his or, uh, organization uh, lifetime of his organization next uh, function is a determination of the business objective so uh, first once uh, he has uh, some business idea then he has to uh, identify the the objectives objectives uh, whatever he sets the objectives that is going to be uh, realized by the all the uh, resources so he has his main uh, job is like identifying the the proper business ob objectives and making sure that these objectives will um, lead uh, to the the end result what he is looking for entrepreneur has to state and lay down the business objectives objectives should be spelled out in a clear terms so we looked into uh, these objectives when we talked about the management functions uh, when you are setting up the objectives it should be very clear it should not be uh, conflicting that is the one important thing about the objective uh, entrepreneur must clear about the nature and the type of the business that he wants to do that is whether it is going to be a manufacturing uh, concern or a service oriented unit or a trading business so that he can uh, very well carry out uh, on the venture in accordance with the objectives determined by him so he has to identify the type of a business whether he want to be in the uh, manufacturing like uh, where uh, machineries are used to make uh, certain uh, products or uh, his uh, uh, business is a, a service providing a service service oriented unit uh, example of a, a service uh, is a like uh, you have all these uh, uh, catering services like uh, uh, Zomato. Um, uh, they uh, uh, provide the food, like they uh, uh, deliver the food uh, from various restaurants. So Zomato is a, a service-oriented company. Uh, Ola is a service-oriented company. So those are the, uh, the providing services. They are not going to manufacture any product. Uh, Zomato is not going to make any product, but they do the service. What is the service they do? Uh, they deliver the uh, food from the restaurants to the their uh, uh, house. That is the service. So you have to check whether it's a service oriented or you want to manufacture uh, any product or a trading business. Uh, what is a trading business? Is? Uh, 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 there are a lot of things that are getting manufactured. Uh, we need traders. Okay traders who will buy from the manufacturer and they will give it to the uh, customers or the wholesaler or the retailers those are called as the uh, um, uh, traders and then that is a trading business raising funds the, so this is the uh, uh, most important uh, aspect uh, raising the capital uh, whatever the capital that is uh, required for the business uh, capital is uh, is required at various stages uh, you need initially uh, you have to uh, set up everything that is the initial capital uh, maybe you have to buy a machinery um, then um, lease a, uh, a shed if it is a manufacturing and uh, you need capital for that and uh, operational cost to maintain the operations going on giving salaries to the people uh, uh, constantly there is a, a requirement of the uh, capital uh, he has to make sure that the uh, sufficient uh, capital is there and if he is planning for any uh, new uh, product line uh, additional he should be able to raise additional capital for that all the activities of the business depend upon the uh, finance and uh, hence fundraising is an important function of an entrepreneur an entrepreneur can raise the fund from internal sources as well as the external sources so the, the fundraising can be internal uh, if there are internal stakeholders who are ready to finance uh, that is one option or it could be external source external source could be uh, any banks or a cooperative uh, uh, society or it can be uh, any government agency uh, those are the external sources of the capital uh, he should be aware of different sources of the funds so um, entrepreneur should have a fair idea of uh, different sources of uh, uh, funds and also advantage disadvantage uh, <coughs> that is uh, terms and conditions of uh, these different uh, sources he should be fairly uh, be aware about those things he should also have a complete knowledge of uh, government sponsored schemes 
in which he can get government assistance in the form of seed capital uh, fixed and working capital for his business so there are a lot of uh, schemes that are introduced by the uh, government basically uh, uh, government they tries to um, uh, encourage the entrepreneurs by bringing in a lot of uh, uh, policies where they will help with the uh, seed capital or they help with the working capital or uh, some kind of uh, uh, discounts on the uh, premise you are going to take the land you are going to take so there are a lot of uh, schemes will be there uh, entrepreneur should be aware of uh, such uh, schemes so that it will help him next uh, most important function is procurement of machines and materials once he identifies like what is his uh, idea what is type of his business then if uh, machinery is required he should be um, he should know the the sources of the machinery and uh, and also uh, he should be able to uh, procure them easily and also he has to think about once he uh, procures the machinery how that maintenance will be done the con signing the maintenance contract uh, he has to take care of all those things uh, another important function of entrepreneur is to procure raw materials and machines okay whatever the raw material that is uh, required and the machinery that is required he should be uh, he should procure them and uh, when you are talking about the raw material you should be well aware of the uh, the sources of the raw material where it is uh, available uh, relatively at a cheaper price so that he can uh, make the products which are very competitive in the market entrepreneur has to identify cheap and regular source of raw materials which will help him to reduce the cost of production and face the competition boldly so uh, if your input cost that is the raw material machinery if that cost is very very high the kind of a product you are going to produce um, definitely it is going to cost more and when the cost is uh, very high uh, it may uh, it may not be uh, able to compete in the market with uh, other products so the, so he has to see that uh, uh, first thing is a regular source of raw materials and second relatively cheaper so that he can produce a products at a very competitive price <clears throat> while procuring uh, machineries uh, he should specify technical details and capacity okay so when he is requiring the machinery he should be able to tell the technical uh, details let's just say a particular machine uh, makes uh, 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 let's say a kind of a, a gear okay uh, then he should be able to uh, tell according to his plan uh, what uh, precision it should be uh, then uh, uh, how many uh, units it should produce in a, a particular time so there are various specification depending upon uh, what kind of a uh, enterprise what kind of a business he is entering so he should be able to give the technical details he should consider the warranty after sale service facilities etc before procuring a machinery that is very very important uh, what is the warranty on the machinery and once it is uh, sales is done uh, the service after the uh, sales that is most important uh, aspect of the machinery market research this is one of the most important job right he should be aware about the market what is happening in the market uh, in order to do that he has to he has to make the market search market research market research is the systematic collection of data regarding the product which the entrepreneur wants to manufacture uh, many companies what they do is before uh, launching uh, any kind of a product in a particular area what they do is like uh, they do market uh, research okay uh, market research is basically they will um, collect uh, uh, the feedback from the uh, uh, sample population uh, regarding uh, they will be having the questionnaire and read about the product and they will get the feedback and according to that research people will come to know whether that particular uh, product is needed by the people or not so you should have the such kind of a, uh, a precise information entrepreneur has to undertake market research persistently to know the details of intending product that is the the demand for the product size of the market or customers the supply of the product competition the price of the product etc so uh, why he has to do the market research uh, so many reasons to uh, identify the market uh, the demand 
and uh, what is the size of that particular demand and um, uh, uh, the competition what kind of a competition is there and what kind of a, a prices uh, uh, should be there so in order to know all those things he has to regularly do the uh, market research determining uh, a form of enterprise so uh, what kind of a uh, enterprise he wants to uh, set up that form he has to determine entrepreneur has to uh, uh, determine form of enterprise depending upon the nature of the product volume of investment etc the forms of ownership are a uh, sole proprietorship partnership joint stock company cooperative society etc so the kind of uh, uh, enterprise he is forming uh, uh, sole uh, proprietorship means what he is the sole owner of that uh, company if he wants to partner with maybe partnership is done because of various reasons uh, maybe for a capital uh, to get uh, to get the uh, capital without uh, any kind of a, uh, a burden uh, you can look for the partnership or if you want to uh, uh, have a expertise okay which you lack so that kind of a, a partnership uh, can happen and uh, family oriented business the partnership can happen and joint stock company you can make a joint stock company or you, you can make it as a co cooperative society <clears throat> So um, one good example for cooperative society, you must have see, <coughs> seen many cooperative society. Uh, KMF is one example of a, a cooperative society. Determination of ownership right is essential on the part of an entrepreneur to acquire legal title to assets. So um, uh, the ownership right should be very clear so that uh, he, he will get the ex uh, 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 legal right on the all the asset that belong to the enterprise recruitment of manpower yes entrepreneur uh, depending upon uh, a size no, uh, normally when the entrepreneur starts he starts uh, with a, a small scale so he may not have a full-fledged hr department maybe when the organization uh, grows uh, to large scale maybe then he will have a separate uh, department for all those uh, 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 recruitment activity which will be taken care by the uh, human resource department but as an entrepreneur, he has to do the recruitment. Carry out uh, this function, uh, uh, an entrepreneur has to perform the following activities. Estimating manpower requirement for short term, long term. First is he has to understand uh, how much uh, uh, um, uh, human resource is required on a, a short term basis and a long term basis. Then he has to lay down the all the selection process, how he is going to select the, the uh, resources for his company and designing a scheme of compensation, how he will compensate, what kind of a salary uh, structure he will have. He has to decide upon that, laying down the service rules. So whatever the service rules, when when once you take a uh, as an employee into your organization, you will lay down the service rules designing uh, mechanisms for training and developing development so if uh, uh, training and development is required then he has to um, design that particular mechanism how that uh, training and development will be done implementation of the project so this is where he has all the things right and now uh, once he has everything so he have to he has to implement the particular project so that he can produce the product Entrepreneur has to develop a uh, schedule and action plan for the implementation of the project. So once you have all the um, uh, resources, all the human resources, materials, machineries, everything is ready. Uh, he has to develop a schedule and put the action uh, plan. Uh, what uh, what should happen? When it should happen? Who will do it? All those things should be planned out. Projects must be implemented in a, a time bound manner, right? So if you have the proper schedule, right? If you have the proper schedule and the plan, and if you monitor it closely, and if the work is get, uh, getting done according to that plan, the project will be uh, implemented as per the uh, uh, the time specified in the schedule. All activities from the uh, conception stage to the commissioning stage are to be accomplished by him in accordance with the implementation schedule to avoid cost and time overrun so he has to make sure that all the uh, the stages which you are uh, planned 
are according to the schedule so the reason for uh, being a project on schedule is the the cost will be controlled so once you uh, estimate the cost uh, as per the schedule uh, then if you finish that pro uh, project in that schedule uh, you will not have a additional uh, cost or the uh, overrun uh, if you extend so if the project gets delayed automatically the cost will increase because the human resources who are supposed to work on this period they has to uh, work on the increased uh, uh, period so their salaries the whatever the uh, regular expenses that happen everything will uh, uh, get um, uh, uh, increased and also there will be because of this slip in the project uh, uh, project your product will be delayed to the market so everything will keep on postponing he has to organize various uh, resources and coordinate various activities that is the most important thing this implementation of a project is an important function of an entrepreneur implementation of a project is the that is the uh, the core of the the organization where you will be seeing the uh, uh, end product all uh, the above function of an entrepreneur can precisely precisely be put into three categories of innovation risk bearing and organizing and managing function so this is these are the basic uh, things uh, which uh, entrepreneur has innovation uh, risk bearing and organizing skills types of entrepreneurs so there are different types of entrepreneur uh, based on uh, various uh, classifications uh, entrepreneurs are uh, um, classified the bases are different uh, uh, today, like uh, various types of entrepreneurs are found engaged in uh, different types of activities, not only industrial activities, but also in the agriculture and commercial activities. So it is not only related uh, entrepreneurship is not only related to industrial activities. Um, there are entrepreneurs in agriculture, entrepreneurs in other uh, sectors, uh, commercial, healthcare, other sectors also. Are. So we, saw, uh, we see entrepreneurs. Today, we can organize entrepreneur in industry service business sectors which are uh, uh, technically called isp okay so industry service and the business sector entrepreneurs are classified in number of ways as listed here uh, some of the management practitioners uh, um, they have classified how the entrepreneurs will be uh, clearance uh, danhoff classification danhoff classifies uh, entrepreneurs into four categories four types first one is the innovative entrepreneur uh, who is an uh, innovative entrepreneur? This category of uh, entrepreneur is characterized by the activity of uh, innovativeness. So, uh, innovative uh, entrepreneurs, they uh, focus on the innovations. They, how they run the organization is based on the uh, innovations. Okay, um, uh, Apple is a good example. They constantly, Apple and the Samsung, Samsung, they constantly uh, come with, uh, come with the uh, innovations. They patent uh, their ideas. They start uh, making products in those particular lines. Next is the adoptive or imitative uh, entrepreneur. Such entrepreneur imitate the existing entrepreneur and set the enterprise in the same manner. So this kind of a uh, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, they imitate means imitate in the sense whatever is the existing uh, uh, entrepreneur, uh, he will uh, see him and he will set up his enterprise in a similar manner. So um, uh, uh, we know that uh, uh, in Belgium there are uh, it, it is known for uh, uh, foundry uh, industry. Okay, so there are a lot of uh, uh, companies are there uh, which are into foundry. So they are making like uh, they are imitating. Okay, uh, so everybody finds their own market. Everybody finds their come up with their own quality. So that's how they will be able to imitate. Those are called as a adaptive or imitative entrepreneur. Then Fabian uh, entrepreneurs are characterized by great caution and skepticism in experimenting any change in their enterprises. So Fabian are the kind of uh, uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, they take a lot of uh, uh, precautions, okay, and they are reluctant to do any um, experiment or any kind of a, a change in the enterprise. They want to make sure the organization uh, is running the way it should be running and uh, there is no uh, much deviation in the way it is running. So those are uh, called as a Fabian entrepreneurs. 
then drone entre entrepreneurs. Uh, such entrepreneurs are conservative or orthodox in outlook. They always feel comfortable with their old fashioned technology of uh, uh, production, even though technologies have changed. OK, uh, these are uh, entrepreneurs who will uh, stick to the old fashioned uh, 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 working. Uh, they even though the technology has changed, uh, there is a newer technology which can be utilized to make uh, 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 many changes uh, in their organization. Uh, they will not be uh, ready to do that. So those are called as a drone entrepreneurs. Arthur H. Cole uh, classification. Uh, Arthur uh, classifies entrepreneurs as empirical, rational, and cognitive. Okay. So what are empirical entrepreneurs? Uh, empirical entrepreneur hardly introduces anything revolutionary and follows the principal rule of thumb. So he uh, empirical, he will not introduce anything revolutionary. He will stick on to the rule of thumb, whatever is the rule of thumb. Um, he will follow uh, uh, those uh, uh, activities. Rational. The rational entrepreneur is uh, well informed about the general economic condition and introduces change which look more revolutionary. Rational is the one who is aware of the economic conditions. He is aware of the techno technological changes. He is aware of all the uh, changes that is happening in the surrounding. And as per those changes, he will bring in the uh, revolutionary changes in his uh, enterprise cognitive cognitive entrepreneur is uh, well informed draws upon the advice and services of experts and introduces changes that reflect complete break from the existing scheme of enterprise so cognitive is the one who takes advice uh, from experts uh, he uh, he takes the services of the experts and he introduces the uh, uh, very uh, big changes okay uh, which will give a complete break So next is a classification based on the scale. So this is the scale of the enterprise. So whether it is a, 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 a operating in a very small scale or a, a large scale. A small scale, these enterprises do not possess the necessary talents and resources to uh, initiate large scale production and to introduce revolutionary technological changes. So uh, in Melgam, we see a lot of uh, uh, small scale uh, as well as medium scale industries uh, so uh, small scale is uh, their resources are limited their capital is uh, uh, limited uh, so uh, those are the uh, small scale uh, they actually uh, need um, um, uh, uh, to make any uh, huge changes they would be requiring the uh, um, like a, a huge amount of uh, capital uh, human resources so to in order to bring uh, themselves to the uh, bigger scale but uh, having many small scale industry uh, is good for the economy. Government always focuses on the uh, small. Um, uh, uh, the small scale is uh, now it is redefined as a like a micro uh, and a small. So MSME, you must have heard uh, micro, small, medium uh, enterprises. Uh, government focuses more on the micro, small, medium because they come they makes the uh, uh, a huge uh, uh, portion of the uh, whole uh, entrepreneurs. They form the uh, big uh, percentage of the total uh, uh, entrepreneurs. And also the in 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 uh, in terms of the economical contribution, th it makes a huge contribution contribution to the economy. Large scale, they possess the necessary financial and other resources to initiate and introduce new technological changes. Uh, they possess uh, talent and research and development facilities. So, uh, example are large scale, uh, you already know, uh, Reliance Industries, Tata's. Uh, those are uh, like uh, some of the um, large scale uh, companies that we have. And uh, Tata Consultancies, Vipro, they are in the uh, IT sector. Uh, those are the large scale um, uh, enterprises that we have. Types of entrepreneur. Uh, so uh, we saw based on the scale and other factors. Uh, there are uh, 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 other classifications are uh, uh, also there. Uh, solo operators. Uh, these kind of uh, entrepreneurs they work alone. And next one is active partners. Uh, these kind of uh, entrepreneurs they work in a, a partnership. So 
uh, they will come in as a, a partners they work uh, together uh, uh, as a, a single team uh, and they um, uh, 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 carry out the operation of the enterprise inventors uh, inventors uh, their main goal is invention right uh, they will the main uh, motivator or the ma main key factor for them is a invention they want to come up with a, a many invention challenge these kind of uh, entrepreneurs they always seek the challenges um, all the time uh, ch the challenges whatever the challenges that are uh, present that makes them uh, uh, the the uh, as an entrepreneur okay the new challenges they will come up with the new ideas with the new products that is how the entrepreneurs are buyers uh, these kind of entrepreneurs what they do is uh, they will be having a lot of knowledge about the uh, the business and the business opportunities uh, instead of setting up the enterprises from the scratch what they will do is they will buy the enterprise suppose let's say there are uh, some entrepreneurs who are in need of uh, 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 money or uh, whose uh, uh, enterprise is uh, uh, at a certain kind of a risk so maybe these people will buy out uh, such uh, enterprises and uh, you must have seen uh, like uh, uh, this buyers uh, these entrepreneurs this happens constantly uh, the companies trying to buy out larger companies buy uh, trying to buy out the smaller companies uh, which are in the a uh, different domain suppose if a large company they wants to get into certain domain they instead of uh, starting from the uh, uh, initial what they do is they uh, try to buy the smaller companies which are in that particular domain they merge that into the organization then they will start working on that particular domain uh, lifetimers uh, mainly uh, these are the family enterprises so that uh, enterprise will run uh, from uh, 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 year to year uh, it goes on from uh, one generation to generation it will be with the, the uh, family industrial uh, entrepreneur industrial entrepreneur who is uh, into manufacturing okay uh, who wants to do the manufacturing those are people are called as a industrial entrepreneur agriculture entrepreneur agriculture uh, entrepreneurs are the one uh, who uh, starts some kind of a um, uh, activity in the field of uh, agriculture so it could be um, it could be related to any uh, innovation in uh, agricultural machineries right or it could be either uh, in a method of uh, growing so it can be anything so uh, uh, these entrepreneurs are uh, uh, are restricted to the or they are, will be interested to work in the the agriculture sector so whatever is related to agriculture uh, those uh, people are called as a agriculture entrepreneur uh, corporate entrepreneur uh, setting up the uh, corporations the companies those are the uh, corporate entrepreneur rural entrepreneurs uh, rural entrepreneurs are the one who will mm, the, uh, work for the challenges that are uh, uh, that are in the a rural sector okay uh, whatever is related to the uh, rural uh, sector uh, one uh, example is like uh, many uh, of the uh, rural uh, places will not have the uh, electricity so uh, some people uh, there are examples where people uh, started like uh, uh, using some kind of a um, uh, uh, technology which is locally available and um, generating the electricity one example is the uh, setting up the uh, solar uh, unit or uh, second one is the setting up the uh, uh, diesel uh, dg unit uh, diesel uh, generation uh, uh, unit uh, such a small uh, uh, units they will which will help the uh, rural sector and it could be related to healthcare of the rural so they don't get the access to the the, uh, the kind of a healthcare that is uh, available for the uh, urban uh, places so in that area if they come up with a, some kind of a, uh, a solutions uh, then those enterprises are called those uh, people are called as a rural entrepreneur then uh, women entrepreneur so we have uh, many women entrepreneur so basically uh, women running the organization uh, he is uh, she is taking care of uh, uh, the complete uh, uh, organization uh, such uh, women are called as a women entrepreneurs okay. 
next is a role of entrepreneurship in economic development uh, so um, i told you entrepreneurs they play a very key role in any country's economy okay without the entrepreneurs uh, we cannot see the economical development any uh, you can take any uh, uh, country uh, if you see the uh, uh, the developed countries uh, the developed countries uh, they uh, they focused on the entrepreneurship much earlier okay they uh, uh, supported the entrepreneurs they increased the entrepreneurs they increased uh, in terms of uh, all the government schemes uh, so they made sure that the industrial revolution happened so after the industrial uh, revolution the economy started booming so what we call uh, as the developed countries they started working on this aspect of a uh, entrepreneur uh, much earlier so that is how uh, now they are in a stage uh, where uh, their economies are huge okay and they are making a, a huge progress so uh, entrepreneurs are very important okay uh, just to understand in the uh, layman's language as uh, entrepreneurs increase okay um, uh, the um, uh, the uh, they will increase the first thing is the uh, job uh, unemployment okay they will generate the employment that is the first thing uh, capital which is unused suppose banks uh, people are keeping their uh, money in the bank uh, that particular money is not helping anybody these people take a risk they take this money they take loan they pay interest that is how the banks will run and they invest this money and they create new product okay and by that selling that product again it is revenue is generated so if you see here the money is rotating okay it is rotating as the flow increases the economy will start uh, developing so if uh, uh, if uh, suppose one uh, small scale entrepreneur uh, can give a job to like let's say 10 people if every year okay um, uh, 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 one lakh uh, small scale industry startup uh, you can imagine every year 10 lakh jobs will be created okay so that is how it will help the uh, nation and the uh, with the economy economic development essentially means a process of upward change where by the real per capita income of a country increases for a, a long period of time so when um, uh, 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 this economy uh, happens like this when it starts growing upward uh, people per capita income will increase people's buying capacity will increase when uh, uh, when people have more buying power so there will be a lot of buying uh, activities which will help the um, economy the economic uh, history of the presently developed countries for example usa and japan tends to support the facts that economy is an effect for which the entrepreneurship is the cause. So, uh, economy is the what what it says is economy is the effect, and who is the cause for that uh, uh, economy? The entrepreneurship. The entrepreneurs they are the cause for that. A crucial role played by the entrepreneurs in the Western countries has made the people of underdeveloped countries conscious of the significance of entrepreneurship in economic development. So. Uh, by looking at the the western countries the kind of progress they made now the the developing countries or the underdeveloped countries uh, the, it has made those countries conscious that uh, how important is the entrepreneurship development in a country for the the economic uh, development of the nation so both are tied together after the independence india has realized that for achieving the goals of economic development it is necessary to increase the entrepreneurship both qualitatively and quantitatively in the country so um, india has uh, uh, um, uh, immediately after the uh, independence it started working on economic development and also it uh, started working on the uh, increase of the entrepreneurship increase of the entrepreneurs and uh, it focused not only uh, uh, with the intention of a quality uh, also with the intention of the the quantity that is number number is important we need more number of entrepreneurs uh, and also uh, 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 the quality should be good so initially uh, when government started working on uh, these areas uh, that is when the iisc okay 
Baba Atomic Research Center was started. The IITs were uh, started with the uh, goal of uh, um, having a technical and entrepreneurs. And we also see the results. Like we see a lot of uh, entrepreneurs coming from the IITs. Uh, one good example is uh, uh, Narayan Murthy, the uh, the founder of Infosys. Uh, so. Uh, that is how uh, India uh, constantly it is working on the uh, development of the entrepreneurship in the country, uh, which uh, knows very well that this is closely tied to the uh, the economic development of the country. Pearson and Smelter described the entrepreneurship as one of the two necessary conditions for economic development. The other uh, being uh, increased the output of a capital. Okay, uh, so they understood the importance of the economic development, uh, and uh, the mm, the other being the increased output of the <coughs> capital. So whatever the capital you have, so the output will be increased only by the entrepreneurship. Why I say high describes entrepreneurship entrepreneurship as a necessary dynamic force for economic development the important role that entrepreneurship plays in the economic development of an economy can be put in more systematic systematic manner as follows so how uh, important it is uh, it is uh, put in some systematic uh, ways entrepreneurship promotes capital formation by mobilizing ideal uh, saving of the public <clears throat> so i give an example uh, so people will keep uh, a fixed deposit, right? FD. When uh, you keep the FD, that money will be lying in the uh, the bank. So bank will give you a interest. But that particular capital is not doing anything. It is ideal. Okay. What entrepreneurship will do is it will take that money. It will uh, make it to mobilize. Okay. It will produce more. If uh, a bank is giving you eight uh, percent. They will be uh, charging the entrepreneurs maybe 16 percent okay so entrepreneur takes that risk he pays 16 percent and he earns more on that so that is how the uh, the output of the capital will increase it provides immediate large-scale employment i told you it provides a large-scale employment thus it helps to reduce unemployment in the country so uh, the unemployment problem e e solution for unemployment problem is again uh, in increasing the entrepreneurship it provides a balanced regional development so it helps with the uh, the regional development it helps uh, reduce the concentration of economic power and so uh, if there is a, 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 a uniform uh, development of the uh, entrepreneurship then you will see the the uniform development uh, in the country for example like uh, in india some uh, uh, states okay where uh, they are economically backward because the uh, the uniformity was not there the amount of entrepreneurship the focus was not in those area because of various reasons so they uh, are economically uh, weaker it stimulates the equitable redistribution of wealth income and even political power in the interest of the country so it's see uh, the benefit is uh, uh, it uh, the wealth is redistributed right i give you an example uh, you keep the money in the bank you get an interest um, the entre entrepreneur takes that money he pays the bank banks get benefited uh, he takes that um, product uh, he sells that so uh, he makes profit so so if you see here the wealth is will get distributed among all the people it encourages the effective resource mobilization of capital and skill which might otherwise remain unutilized and idle so if resources and capitals are unutilized okay then it is like idle it is not uh, uh, generating any money but if it is put into action uh, put into action in the sense entrepreneur when entrepreneur puts this capital into action it will start mobilizing the uh, the money it is also it also includes backward and forward linkages which stimulated the process of economic development in the country and it also promotes countries export uh, trade that is an important ingredient for a economic development so when we have uh, excess of uh, anything 
then we can export it so when uh, for example uh, uh, india is a exporter of uh, a sugar we grow a lot of uh, sugar cane and we produce a lot of uh, sugar um, so that is how we can export it to other countries and uh, uh, generate revenue on those so uh, there are uh, different stages in the entrepreneurial process um, so this particular uh, topic uh, we'll see what are the different stages in the uh, entrepreneur entrepreneurial process we'll see it in the next session thank you